Hi, this is Majin Oni, and this is be my mixed review for the rest of the comics that I got. We have Avengers Academy number 11, hack slash 2, Batman Incorporated uh, number 3, and uh, G.I. Joe Infestation number 2. And that's two of two, so I'm going to do this one first. This actually was really cool. I really liked the G.I. Joe Infestation. You could have taken this part out of it. And this is a, this could have been a standard GI Joe story. Uh, I think the art, the art was um, I liked it, uh, just in the sense that it set you know, like if you look at the Dixon GI Joe, it's a lot more cartoony. This is a little bit gr more um, gritty, I guess you can say. It's not more like, kid friendly. Uh, co the cobras get killed, uh, animals are attacking. Uh, people are getting drowned, you know, it, it, there's a lot of, de as you can see, a lot of death here. Uh, I really, I really enjoyed this issue. Um, I would say, I would highly recommend getting this, but, you know, to be honest with you, you're either going to have to be a, I would only really recommend this to people who are either love, love G.I. Joe or are reading Infestation. Because, uh, like, a random person reading this, you're going to just be like, it's two issues and I don't really understand what's going on. Uh, so... That that's my review on this. It's kind of like a little mixed. Now, Batman Incorporated number three, or Tequila Batman. Basically, what he goes to, um, I think it was Portugal, and um, this it's as you can see, it's the uh, Scorpion Tango, and um, basically, I don't know what to say about this one. Um, Batman is masquerading as Bruce Wayne, and the guy is going, well, I met Bruce Wayne. You're not convincing enough. And I'm like, oh, my God, are you that freaking stupid? I guess I guess it must be that mustache, because your whole country can't figure out who you are. You have a very distinct mustache, like your, your guy with the mask. Uh and I understand mustaches are popular and whatnot, but when you have the same build and you have the same disappearances and all this other nonsense, it's like, oh, like imagine Bruce Wayne with a mustache like that. How, the Joker, he, Commissioner Gordon would be able to put two and two together. Oh, well, anyways, there's there's this woman here. She's trying to kill him, and um, she gets Bruce to do the tango. Now. I, this re this gave me horrific flashbacks to the Batman TV series. I mean, remember when he's doing that bat dance and he's doing that thing with his eye, I mean, with his fingers, you know, whatever. That's what this reminded me of, and I'm just I, I stood there in shock. Uh, the next thing that that made me go, what the hell, is um, they're out on this trail, and um, there's like um. The, there's like this uh, scientist guy here, kids, sorry, kids, that they're trying to rescue. And early on in their team up, basically, there's these blue scorpions. Here we go. And okay, they're, they're fighting a villain with a, with a parrot. I'm like, oh, I guess they must do things different overseas. I don't know. But this is a ridiculous villain. He's got these blue scor scorpions who, I guess, they're carnivorous scorpions that o their only purpose is to sting people because if you drop I don't know like I've seen scorpions and if you they just don't chase after you to kill you you know what I mean it's like if you drop a, the box and and the, the scorpions come out of the box they're not gonna just go oh look at that there's people here we must attack them they must be trained scorpions or something I don't know I just don't get it and I'm like, now, the other thing that got me was, okay, they, the guy is he's in a hot air balloon. It's not like Batman, I don't, I don't know, I, I, I guess he can't afford a car or a motorcycle or a parakeet mobile or something. I don't get it. So, anyways, he, a scorpion conveniently landed on his back and crawled up and stung him. Now, all right, I can understand he's moving around, so yeah, the scorpion would stink him. But how convenient is that scorpion to sting, be, to be there in the first place? You know what I mean? It's that would mean the box 
oh, fell, he's running away from the boxes. So the scorpion would have had to have said, oh, wait a second, there's somebody closer right there, and leaped on him. Oh. I don't care. So, anyways, now, the other thing I don't get is he, she, he knows she is trying to kill him and she's bad news, but yet he's getting jealous. Why are you getting jealous? I don't, I don't know. So anyways, the final page made, it just just had me rolling. I mean, this is like your typical, I guess you can say like, um, uh, you know, wrestler out of WWE. And then the, the Scorpion lady, who, who, yeah, we can't figure out who that is. And if you look at her tail, her tail goes down and to her back. So that means if somebody were to say push her up against the wall, the stinger would stink her in her butt. Who does these designs? Shouldn't the stinger point away from her body? So that way maybe it might be a little bit more useful, like the scorpion, you know, the, how the tail curves up and over the head instead of curving down into her butt. I don't maybe she likes that kind of activity. I don't know. But to me, that just signals danger. Danger, danger, danger. Now, with all the things that was wrong with this, I, I just had to like it. I can't explain it. Maybe it's because I realized at the very end she likes to take it in the butt with her stinger. I don't know. Next up is Hack Slash number two. <sighs> wonderful art. That's all I have to say about this. Wonderful, wonderful art. And if you like slashers, why aren't you buying this book? And by the way, something new revelations of the slashers are coming back. So you, if you like horror, buy. Avengers Academy number 11. Now, this is the return of Krovac. Krovac is the most powerful, one of the most powerful villains in all of Avenger history. He can destroy everything. And he just manhand... I, I don't understand. I understand that he's he wants his woman, and his woman says, I don't want you. And he doesn't want to kill the Avengers, so he's just holding back. Well, dude, if you want to hold back, why don't you just wave a magic... Your, fingers and put them all to sleep why do you have to continue why do you have to take each one out and play their game if you're that godlike if i had this power and i didn't want to kill them you know what i would do i would shut down their brains for a, a day and then i and, I, and i'd have easy access to my woman who doesn't want me any longer i don't understand it but anyway so he it takes him a long time to beat the avengers so he, he and this these are the avengers that don't even have um captain america and, and the Guardians of the Galaxy, you know, or the Vision, or the Scarlet Witch, or all the big, really big people that you really need to take down, uh, a guy, God, you know, I don't understand it. Now, the one thing that this book is doing, basically, though, and I can appreciate, is there, oh, I hate Vale, I hate her, I, I just want to, oh, I just, that's what I want to do to her, I can't stand her, she just needs to be slapped, spanked, hard but because she she caused all this problem now but anyways what this book is doing is it's setting the stage to say look guys um i understand that life is tough for you right now and it looks like you have no hope but i have seen 30 you guys at the age of 30 you are all alive and you guys are truly making a difference and you're powerful so i'm going to take your future mind self and bring it to the past so that way you can fight Krovac because apparently they're more powerful than Thor and Iron Man and the existing Avengers that are that are here. The exist oh I guess there's Steve Rogers, sorry, my mistake. But oh, I'm like oh. see, I'm still worked up because of this. But anyways, I understand the purpose for it and I'm getting willing to cut it some slack. Uh, because it, this is actually an important character building issue. So um I'll still get the next issue because I, I'm kind of curious to see how their powers are going to evolve. Um, anyways, th this is my review for these four issues. Buy if you like either one of those two. If you don't, just buy the G.I. Joe Cobra and, and you'll be rich and re rewarded. Do I really have to talk about this again? And again, um, if you like slashers, I know I really didn't give this thing justice, but I have to be careful because there's a lot of... Um, you know, like side boobage, and they're, you know, really big. 
so I don't want to get too many people in trouble because they're watching the video. But um, I'm, I'm actually I really do enjoy hack slash a lot. Besides the um, that part, I like the slashes, and this yeah I kind of like it. Guilty pleasure number two. So if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the video up or down. Let me know what you think. And I'll have more reviews up later. So until next time.